Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss example 1.2 from Mr. Chapman's book. And this is on the request of a student from Durban University. Uh, so let's uh, try to understand the question. Figure 1.1 shows a ferromagnetic core with the mean path of 40 centimeter. Now in one of my uh, earlier videos I have explained what is the meaning of mean path. You can see this is one path. So this is the inner dimension and this is the outer dimension. So in between the two we select a mean length or mean path. So this is the mean path. So we take length of the mean path which is 40 centimeter given. There is a small gap of 0.05 cm in the structure of the otherwise whole core. So this whole core and this is a slit here, a gap which we call air gap and this is of 0.05 cm. The cross sectional area of the core is 12 cm square. So this is the cross sectional area. So this cross sectional area is 12 cm square. The relative permeability of the core is 4000. So permeability of the core is 4000. And the coil of wire on the core has 400 turns. So these wires, uh, number of turns is 400. Assuming that fringing in the air gap increases the effective cross-sectional area of the air gap by 5%. Now we got to understand this, what is air gap fringing, so let's see this diagram. Uh, you can see when the flux passes, or flux lines passes from north to south, in the air gap they try to go away or try to diverge slightly. So this area from here, you can see this is more then uh, this um, area or this dimension you can say so this increase in the dimension or increase in the cross-sectional area is five percent more five percent more than this cross-sectional area which is 12 centimeters so we have to keep this point in mind when we are working with the air gap portion okay Given this information, find the total reluctance of the flux path and so total reluctance we have to find and also we need to find the current required to produce a flux density of 0.5 tesla in the air gap. So we have to also calculate the current this which will produce a um, flux density of 0.5 in this air gap. So let's discuss uh, how this question has been solved in the book and try to understand it. Uh, the first point that we have to uh, do is we have to draw the magnetic circuit corresponding to the core. Now this is the core elements and from here we'll take three elements. First of all is the source or the magnetomotive source we'll represent by this. And this, this magnetic circuit is actually, it looks like an electrical circuit. So we have the source here, that is voltage source, equivalent to voltage source is the magnetomotive source. We have a reluctance due to this core, which is like a resistance. So the reluctance of the core is represented by RC. And then there will be a reluctance in the air gap here. So because of the air gap, we'll have a reluctance Ra. So these are in series. So this is kind of a, the complete magnetic circuit. Now the parameters, first of all, and most important is that you have to convert all the given values in meters. So like the mean path was given 40 centimeters, this one here, the mean path. We'll convert that into meter divided by 100 for so 0.5 meters. The cross-sectional area given in the question is 12 centimeters. So we divide that by 100 into 100. So it will be 0 0.012 meter square. 
remember this is uh, wrongly written as 0 0.02 in the book and the permeability of the material given mu r is 400. From the previous video I am sure uh, you have learned the formulas the total reluctance of the flux bar this is the first part of the question that we have to find so we will use the reluctance formula this is the reluctance formula for the core where this is the uh, um, length of the core mu r is the permeability a relative permeability mu zero is the permeability of the air and ac is the area of cross section so after we have converted them in, them into meters we'll plug in for lc now we'll plug this value 0 0.4 meter mu r is given uh, 4000 so 4000 this value mu naught you have to always memorize this is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 so we'll plug in that and the core area we have converted into meters so we'll plug in that solving the actual answer if you do with your calculator it will be 66314 but in the book here is written is just uh, the approximate value 663000 that is good enough now we come to the reluctance of the air gap since there is no core material so this element will be eliminated the length of the core this is the gap of the core this gap is 0 0.05 centimeter so we have to just convert this also into meter that will be la and then area of a apparently it should have been the same area 12 but as we discussed there is a fringing there is an increase due to fringing and so uh, the area how much was the increase 5 percent so the 12 centimeter will increase by 5 percent so we will multiply by 1.05 and converting into meters it will be 0 0.0126 meters so we will use that and the air gap permeability we know this is the value so plugging in uh, all the values and solving we find the reluctance of the air gap is 3160000. Now just a point to note that the major reluctance or you can keep in mind to be to be resistance is due to this air gap and which has a very high value as compared to the reluctance or the resistance of the core. So it is almost uh, five times this value. And so that is why it is called that the air gap dominates the behavior of the circuit. So we write both the values. And now the question has asked to find the total reluctance. So we we'll just simply add these two. And so the total reluctance will be 382, 300 ampere turns per Weber. So this is the first part of the question. Coming on to the second part, current required to produce a flux density of 0 0.5 Tesla. So this is our equivalent circuit now. We have to find this value, MMF, to calculate the uh, 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 flux and calculate the current. Okay, now keep in mind that this relation here is MMF is equal to phi into R it is exactly similar to the electrical circuit where V is equal to I into R so the MMF is the flux of the circuit multiplied by the reluctance of the circuit now what is flux as you know flux is the um, magnetic field density into a unit area so these are the field lines and passing through a unit area is called flux so for phi we will be writing b a b is the magnetic field density and a is the area also we have learned earlier that the magnetomotive force is given by number of turns multiplied by current i 
So we'll use that. So our relation, this relation will now become Ni and for phi we are writing Ba and then the reluctance R. And from here I will be given by this formula. Now we have all the values given so we'll just plug in. This is the uh, flux density required 0 0.5 uh, Tesla so 0 0.5 area we have found the increased area was this so that will be applicable because of the uh, we are talking of the air gap where there is a fringing uh, taking occurring so this area this was the total reluctance that we uh, calculated a number of turns 400 and so the current required is 0. Uh, uh, 0.602 ampere. So this is the answer. So I hope you understood uh, how this question can be solved easily. The student uh, who sent me this question had some variations uh, in the question given by the teacher. So those are very minor variations. So if she follows this uh, procedure, I'm sure she can solve that assignment question. Thank you.